Hi Cancers, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do your March spirit messages. So we have two cards here already that came out for you. We're going to start with the play card. I love how they put her in a martini. <laughs> have you been partying lately? <laughs> it's this play. Have fun, celebrate, don't be so serious. Some of you have been all play, no, you know, no action, no all work, no play. <laughs> Sound you hate. Fucking play. So, um, all right. Let's start with this card here. It's pretty much telling you to stop taking life so seriously. For those who are, your spirit needs to, to have some fun. You know, the more you play, the more inspiration will follow. Take some time out to do something without being attached to the outcome. You are being called to rest and play and learn to have more fun. Do something that makes you laugh. The, the best medicine around. Call up a friend that you can be silly with. Take your inner child on a date. The more you switch off your mind, the more room spirit has to whisper and to guide you. When we do things without being attached the, to the outcome, ideas, clarity, guidance, and solutions, have the space to drop in. The left and right hemispheres of the brain can begin talking to each other. Make play a compulsory, compulsory part of your day and schedule it. Spend, spend more time doing things just because you love to do them, just because they bring you joy and light you up. If you follow what lights you up, you will light up the world without even trying. For when you are lit up, you are in spirit. <laughs> lit up, right? <laughs> the martini's time to get lit. No. <laughs> For when you are lit up, damn, spirit's telling you to get lit. <laughs> Okay, spirit. <laughs> For when you are lit up, you are in your spirit. And when you are in your spirit, you fall into the flow of life. Hot damn. <laughs> what do you play? What do you do for fun? And what lights you up? If you have been working hard lately, it's time to celebrate how far you have come. And all that you have achieved. Don't rush on to the next thing. Take a moment to throw a party, go on a vacation, or just have some fun and get lit <laughs> oh my god that is so funny that is so freaking hilarious okay then we have sisterhood of the rose beauty and devotion a priestess a mystic a teacher Ooh, so deep the sisterhood of the rose is a lineage of priestesses and mystics who devoted their lives to serving humanity and sending light consciousness all over the earth. A cross section of ancient lineages. It is a path of devotion and beauty. Walking this path means being devoted to seeing and creating beauty wherever you go. The rose symbolizes the heart and the sacred geometry of all life. You are being called to notice the beauty the beauty around you, particularly in nature, and hear the whispers of Mother Earth. You are being called to spend more time in nature as all the ancient secrets live there. Mother Earth is constantly whispering. Spend time admiring her, her creations, and you will be rewarded with insight and grace. You are being called to take a little bit more time to both notice the beauty that exists around you and contribute to the beauty of the world in your own way too. This could be through your own creations or in the little things like how you dress to picking flowers for your home. Every time you devote your time to creating beauty, you harmonize the planet a little bit more and the shift in vibration can be felt. Wow, that's beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to pull a card or two, or two cards actually, from the Sacred Traveler. Messages for Cancer, please. So just for the sign of cancer. Damn, two of them. Right on the dot. We have staying focus and solitude. See, stay focused, hold the course. What is it that you are devoting yourself to? What is it that you're trying to achieve? This is reminding you not to get distracted. To, to hold your focus, to stay focused, and to hold the course. Don't be, you know, swayed away. Don't be discouraged. Don't be, don't give up. Don't lose hope. Be confident. Stick to your guns, okay? And then we have solitude. 
In silence, peace prevails. Some of my cancers want to be in silence or need solitude. If your soul is urging you to get solitude, do it. If it's going to help you get peace, do it. For some of you, you probably live with family members or, or somewhere where there's noise everywhere or your job is just, just taking on too much for you. You're like, oh my God, I need a vacation or oh my gosh, I need to... I need to find some peace and quiet, whether that's meditating in the bathtub, whether that's hanging out by the pool, tanning, whether, you know, solitude for you is working out by yourself at home, yoga or whatever, Pilates, Taibo, who knows. Um, yeah, this is like needing that time of solitude. You know what I mean? All right. So I am going to pull some daily guidance from your angels messages for cancer please messages for cancer sun moon rising and venus wow so we have there's nothing to worry about whatever it is that you're worried about why okay why are you worried Worried is being worried is not going to do anything. It says you are safe, and this situation is under the perfect control of divine providence and universal order. The only infuse loving thoughts and emotions into the situation to ensure that the high, the highest possible outcome flows effortlessly to and through you. See, telling you to think positive. Okay, like attracts like. You worry, you're going to get more things to worry about. And that's funny how this came out and this came out after it. The law of attraction. What you think about, you bring about. It says each thought is an investment that pays immediate dividends. Uh, dividends. I think I'm saying that right. So invest wisely. You have the power to choose your thoughts and align them with love, peace, and harmony. That's funny. Peace prevails, right? Love, peace, and harmony. Um... At your request, we will gladly attune your energies to higher frequencies. But you have to, you have to um, have faith in your manifestations. You have to think positive. You can't worry about them, okay? Because if you worry about your manifestations, they it could block it. You could sabotage them. So let's say you want to manifest peace. And all you hear is noise, noise, noise. And you're so you're feeling really negative about it. And all you think about is, oh my God, I can never get some time alone. Guess what? You just manifested that. Guess what's going to what's gonna happen? You'll never get time alone. Instead, switch it over positively. Like, I cannot wait to have some peace when I get home. Or this is just a, an obstacle I will overcome before I, before I get my peace. It's going to be worth it. I am peaceful with the way I am. I am peaceful with the way things are. You know what I mean? Use the law of attraction to your advantage. But remember to be clear about what you want. And don't mix manifestation with worry, doubt. Because then you can sabotage it. Okay? you got to believe in it. Alright, let me get some angel answers for cancer. We have get more information. If there's something that you need to study, if there's something you're not sh too sure about, um, get more information by meditating, being in silence, being in solitude, listening to your thoughts. What is it that the universe is trying to tell you? With the next few weeks, so... Within the next few weeks, something's going to happen for some of you guys. Maybe an offer or a, a, a shift, a relocation. That thing that you're focused on is going to happen within the next few weeks. And if you need more information on it, reach out to your angels, your 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 arch, archangels, your ancestors, your spirit guides to help you. 
Ask and it is given. They will never interfere without your consent. So remember to make make your spirit guides and your archangels your homie. Okay? They are your homies. Your spiritual homies is what I like to call them. <laughs> oh, hold on. Let me just tap into my homies real quick. <laughs> ah, all right. I'm going to pull three cards from the Witchlings Books of Spells. Uh, three of them. Obviously, I'm not going to read the spell part, but you can if you're interested in it. We have Prosperity. Vitality. And Transformation. Okay, so we're going to start with Prosperity. Beautiful card. Aren't they cute? They're so cute. It says, know that you deserve all things wondrous and believe you can have them. You see, you have to believe that you deserve things. You have to believe that you will achieve it. You have to believe in your manifestations and your prayers. Don't sabotage them. You will prosper. Stay focused. Then we have vitality. Vitality is the beaming force that gives energy and vigor to life. How do you get vitality? How do you get that good energy? By staying positive, by eating good, by waking up every morning with gratitude, telling the universe, thank you for everything. Your spirit guides, thank you for waking me up. God and Goddess in the Universe, thank you so much for another day of success, another day of opportunity, of living, of breathing, walking. That's energy. That's vitality. What gives you energy? Then we have transformation. It says self-transformation is the evolving process of life that brings higher consciousness. Wow, look at that self-transformation. It is a process. And it does bring you higher consciousness. I love that there's little butterflies coming out of the cauldron. Oh my God. Some of you guys are transforming things. You're transforming yourself. And when you transform yourself, you get more energy. And you're more prosperous. You're more, you attract more abundance and more of that. So... If you are in a place that you're not happy in right now, you can transform that. You can transform anything, your thoughts. It all begins with your mind, the law of attraction. Okay? Believe it. Believe it. All right, Cancer, this was your spirit message. I hope you liked it and enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in your next video. Love you guys. Bye, Cancer.